batch by batch, they fill the Mobolaji Johnson Arena for the yearly ritual of May Day Rally. It is a day in which their contributions to the development of the economy and society at large is specially recognized and the workers aren't prepared to let it pass without the usual uniform wares, music and speeches from their leaders on matters affecting them. Lagos was the first to implement the minimum wage. I will thank the governor. But sir, we have to tell you that the economic situation and the negative impact of COVID-19 has already eroded the 30,000 and 35,000 minimum wage. The catalog of worsening economic conditions, spiraling hike in transportation fare, most especially in Lagos, to and from workplaces, skyrocketing prices of goods, most especially food items, high cost of living, Landlords have increased the house rent. It is our note that the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria has set up a political commission at this time to see to it that comrades, workers all over Nigeria are involved in the process of democracy, the electionary process that determines who gets what office. Despite some of the challenges identified, the workers, as represented by the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress, express support for the governor of Lagos State in his bid to run for a second term in office. We thank God that they have given you the second term uh, ticket. And for that, the workers of Lagos State will stand with you. It is one endorsement that means much to Mr. Sonwolu, as his reaction shows and even his speech on the podium. Fellow... Lagos State workers, I'm also pleased to note that our ongoing reforms in the transportation sector will help to reduce the economic burden that you all have. The workers of Lagos State and expand the opportunity available to you and your family for safe and comfortable commute. We are set to build on the gains of our BRT initiatives and to also ensure that our commitment and ensuring that the red line and the blue line are completed before the first quarter of 2023 is unreversible. More speeches pour in, including one from the representative of Nigeria's Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige. The labor movement have been the voice of the workers in demanding their rights. The event progresses with more actions, including the traditional parade by the workers some of whom are looking forward with optimism to more positive developments in their sectors in the coming year. We are very sure that by the virtue of the speech given that Mr. Governor Babatunde Sonwolu will pay adequate attention to us. A lot of foreign workers come into the country to work and take away jobs that belong to Nigerians. And then we have more a, a lot of people on the streets not having jobs. This is one of our key concerns to make sure that jobs that can be done by Nigerians are kept in Nigeria and done by Nigerians. As the event winds down and the workers disperse to face their different tasks before they gather for another celebration next year, they are hopeful that the general working environment will improve significantly, not just to enhance their productivity, but also to ensure continuous industrial harmony and consolidate on the gains of Nigeria's democracy in the last two decades. Tokumbo, Oyetunji, Arise News, Lagos.